Alkali. If smoke comes out of an asteroid, then either someone is frying a shish kebab or these are fragments of an alkaline generator. You need to take a grabber and shove it deeper into the generator's debris in order to extract the alkali in the required quantities. The extracted alkali is stored in special bags made of unicorn hair or, or something similar to that. I, I was kind of wondering where we were getting the bags from. Hello everyone, welcome back to Breath Edge. So yeah, sorry about last episode. It, it always happens the one time that you don't do your system checks. So you just, you, you have to always do your system checks. And yes, I did do my system checks today. So, we're kind of at a loose end once again. We aren't quite sure where the last objective is going to be. We have options of the movie theater, whatever the heck those are, or the Normandy. Now, honestly, I think I'm most curious about the Normandy. So, let's just head over there. Yep. I have a couple candles on me. Even if I don't find a forward base, I can probably make it in one trip. And I still don't know what the heck is up. How to get those Breath Edge energy cores. I just don't know how to harvest those. But yes, they've been hinting at the Normandy for a long time. So I'll be very surprised if it's not a very significant thing to go to. Hmm. Now this is a little bit interesting. Solar not used on high-speed spaceships. These parts are definitely not from the lighter plating. Solar panels, you say? Looks like the panels are still working. I wouldn't fly up to them if I were you. Well, good thing that you're not me. Ah, I already have it on hand. Power supply, okay. Neat. So that may be a way to get just loads of power. More than just the piddly little power generator we already can make. Ooh. It looks kind of ominous. I like it. Yeah, it looks like they had some sort of crash as well. Right into an asteroid. Unlucky. A lot of unlucky things happening. It ain't suspicious at all. Yeah, look at that. Is that a massive turbine? Well, if I haul butt a little bit, I should be able to get in there before I run out of air. And hopefully there is air inside. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, there's an accelerating transport station ahead. Apparently, they plan to use it for the evacuation of Normandy, although it's hardly possible to do that. These stations help small spaceships gain initial acceleration when departing from the liner, but they are of no use for long-distance flights. Well, okay, that just reveals our final escape plan, I suppose, once we deal with the radiation. And yes, it looks like we can almost, but not quite, reach there. The radiation grade gets real steep right at the end. So, uh, yep. That is unfortunately a dead end, but we at least know how we're getting out of here. Hello, what's that? Oh, this was just the meat zone from a different angle, and I didn't recognize it. Oh, well. Just a little bit of derp. I suppose I'm kind of out of nutrient packages, so I should pick up some meat to supplement my diet. That's a sensible plan. That's a sensible excuse for uh, excusing my idiocy. If I can find any meat. Yep, yeah, just a couple slabs of it. 
And I'll have to wait till I'm getting low on hunger because it's a full refill. So that should be enough to last for a while if we ration it. And yeah, I'm gonna make it in plenty of time before I need to refill my air. Just as long as I avoid crashing into it directly. So, looks like the Normandy's out for now, so our choices are between cowboy movie theater or mysterious question marks. I get the feeling the mysterious question marks are just some more minor blueprints. Which, yeah, let's finish off. Let's let's finish off our plot objectives before we just clean up everything in the area. That'll give that'll give it a nice final send off, you know. So, over to the movie theater it is then. First, though, I'm kind of curious about this solar panel. Is there anything we can do with that? Like, if I... Out here... Okay, so that's compartments. So yeah, solar panel. Okay. Wait. Oh, it lowers our breach chance? It's just lead and electronics. You attach it to modules from outside and it supplies the station with additional energy. Although there's no sun nearby, some nearby stars will do. In addition to energy, the solar panel works as a reinforcement and can stop small space debris, which slightly reduces the chance of the stations being breached. Awesome! So that unlocks the potential for infinite expansion. It's just that it costs electronics. And electronics are something I really can't spare right now. I want to save them up for... Uh, I want to save them up for making that military oxygen tank if I can. Let's just cook the steaks. No reason not to have food prepared on hand. Ah, yes, and we've got a hollow tape. We might as well decrypt. Already know those coordinates. Lovely. Yeah, let's let's see here. I've got two pieces of electronics. That's not enough for even just the initial ask, let alone all the additional stuff that the military tank needs. Because it also needs two compensators and two generators, and I think those compensators use one each. E no, they just use a lot of... And was it two generators? Ah, the generators use electronics. So really, this thing is asking for... Six electronics in total. That's pretty bad. What does the bribe cost? The bribe costs some paint. I discovered a thing or a paint not too long ago. Hell if I remember where it is. Maybe we'll spot it on the way over to the, to the movie theater. You know, that looks like it. That it has the distinctive look of, uh, of paint mist. So why not? Let's... It's been a while since we've researched something. Let's research a nice, juicy bribe. This might even be the episode where we need it. Do I have a drill on me? Yes, but it doesn't have much in the tank. That's possibly bad. Well, I should probably not venture out until I have a proper drill on me anyway. Just so that I... In case I encounter some of those electronics that I need. And that's a reminder for me to check my tools anyway. Yeah, I'm also going to need a new grabber. That being said, we did end up with enough paint in order to research the thing. We just need some rubber. Well, that's an easy ask. There is a reason that I keep some of it as just raw rubber instead of converting it all in, into... Uh... A bribe is always a bribe, even as space. Of course, if you find someone to throw it at. 
three minutes to research that. Nice and easy. Alright. Let's see what's what in this little movie theater. Is that another paint tank? Hmm. wonder what the liner needed all this paint for. Well, I guess it was contraband, wasn't it? It's a hell of a lot of contraband. Then again, it's contraband according to the suit, and heaven knows what suit is right and wrong about. Alright. Looks like there might not be air in here. Ah, beautiful. He gave me a brilliant idea how to enhance the handy scrapper. Oh? The Infinity Warrior. The in... Okay. You have my attention. The Great and Terrible. This guy is so tough that it's not he who flies in space. It's space that flies in him. Wow. He even has the rainbow compliance shotgun shells. Watch it in all cinemas of the universe. Those names are too small, I can't read any of them. Suit has nothing to add to that. Yeah, I'm totally keeping that. That is unironically the type of thing I would use as decor. Some battery, some more water, nice. Nice, I am digging it. Lots of time to explore this area. So, was this area just inspiration? Because that is wonderful inspiration if that's if that's going to do what you're claiming it's going to do. Then again, knowing this game, it is probably just a straight up troll. Okay, well, nice diversion. So I guess we're down to those question marks again, aren't we? task is examine Normandy at the moment. Hmm. Ooh, a piece of candy. Okay, little mystery boxes. What's inside of you? You won't foil me this time, J.J. Abrams. Lots of scrap in this area come to it. Okay, you're looking potentially big enough to be a thing. And you even have protection. This is working autonomous oxygen station. Turret detected. Okay. Well, first of all, safety is our number one priority. And now we can enforce a safety. Large cluster of security robots detected. I'd recommend keeping out of their sight. Okay. Security robots, you say? Well, I'm sure they'll be just as friendly as all the other robots we've met so far. And they won't hear about what we've done to the other robots so far. Bad idea to hold the gun in your hand when trying to board the ship. Bad idea. Very bad idea. The linguistic analysis of the large inscription on the wall shows that it's module number 51. The government transport is a military development today. You can really find something useful here, like the famous super spacesuit, if you don't get caught by any security systems. Wow. Okay. That that was very useful advice, I'm sure, suit. You find another way into the military module. You must bypass the super intelligent AI, which can let only a soldier pass, I presume. Super intelligent, I'm sure. Well, do we have any means of communicating with it? If it's super intelligent, maybe it can be reasoned with. I'm sure that reason will win the day. Access to civilians is prohibited. But I'm not a civilian. I have a gun. And only the military is allowed to have guns. Do you see the reasonableness of my argument? Get out of 
out of here, rookie. Well, okay, if reason don't work. <laughs> Then we just have to use unreasonable means. No. No one come defend you this time? Well, see, I have some chops. The army teaches boys to think like men. And it teaches men to think like bigger men. Yes, okay. Well then, any other reason I can think of? Do not be sick. All diseases were banned about ten years ago. This way, the party tried to fight the spread of space fever infection legislatively. It's quite strange, but the denial of all diseases, fines for using personal protective equipment, and propaganda of compulsory good health had no effect on the fever at all. Well, they tried something. It's, it's about as effective as most other means we've seen. Chair in a box, eh? A disassembled chair in its original packaging, almost intact. It includes a manual, some extra parts, and a rare hex key. A couple of important parts are missing, but you can easily replace them. Wait, we have a cardboard box. Can we use this to stealth past? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, buddy. Well, I shouldn't have put my gun away. You lie again. You are here. That means death was impossible. Tell truth. Confirm. You know, it's a good thing that we have that framing device right there. Let's see how far back our autosave was. It's probably the last time we went back home, which was before I went to the movie theater. Yeah, yeah, that looks to be about right. So we've got to go get that infinite handy scrapper again, because that is just too, too juicy. Yep, just get all that back into our belly get our wonderful decor back, get all this sweet loot, and this time, instead of going to the question marks and possibly dying again, I will go back home just so that we have this saved and so that we can take a look at what this enticing prospect is going to take to construct. Hmm. A little bit of food. What do you know? Did it again. God damn it. Okay. And yes, I suppose we can refuel and repair the bike from our own stupidity. There we go. And let's take a look at what this very enticing prospect you say. Yes. Tools. Oh, there's a scraper. Infinite handy. Okay. Not quite infinite, infinite, but close enough. The infinite handy scrapper is the only handy scrapper in the world that can break other handy scrappers. You know, that's not out of the realm of possibility. Four plastic, lycoplasma, four wire, and four titanium. Four titanium. Lycoplasma. For plastic. What else? Four pieces of wire. Okay. Why not? That's pretty enticing. Unfortunately, it looks to be almost identical to... Yeah, it's, it's just a slightly different color. Oh, it has the... It has the guy on it. Well, that's what makes it so tough. 
it has not Chuck Norris on it. That makes sense. Speaking of, we need our awesome new decor. Yes. Can I prop him up like... No, I can't get him behind the, the bar there. He's just going to have to kind of sit right here, I suppose. Yeah, that works. Okay, well let's let's used up our uh, remaining slots on those, and then we will we will switch to our our brand new boy, which might not last infinitely, but it'll last a good long time. Should I make a new blaster? Maybe. What would a new blaster even cost me? Oh, that's right. That is the research table. Let's see what the... The bribe! That's... That's how to get past the AI. We bribe it with some paint and some rubber. Brilliant. Okay. That is obviously the way you handle the military. Yes, and I need to get rid of that. We might as well get some use out of it. So I just gonna need my drill to get some paint. And let's scan her on four just in case. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get us a bribe together. I don't think I need any more lead. Just need a bit of paint. Let's get a bit. Ah, that tank does empty out. Okay, cool. Well, good thing we only need a bit. Bribe is a tool, of course. Let's keep that on slot three. And let's cook up our ice into water. And there we go. Now, let's see if my hypothesis is right about bribery being the victory of the day. If it's intelligent enough to be interacted with and talked with like a person, then maybe it's interactive enough, it's intelligent enough to uh, know that it deserves some of the finer things in life. Yeah, that's sounding like a plan. Okay, first of all, you, sir, have no place in this world. How long range is the blaster? Not quite that long range. Turret active. Be careful. But pretty long range. So as soon as it aggros, we're in range. Yes, remember to switch away. Is there anything in this? A large cluster of security robots detected. I'd recommend keeping out of their sight. Ooh, Some kind of military spacesuit prototype with a jet booster. I wonder if it's possible to replicate this system without the risk of catching fire like he did. Well, I already have the jet accelerator. Uh, I get the obsolete one. Okay. Why not? Just to have it in our blueprints list. This is working autonomous oxygen station. And there's a couple of security bots. Let's see if we can get the jump on them. Oh no. Yeah, nothing for it but to get a bit closer and... Yep. We kind of need to just deal with them. Because I think it's that second one I see patrolling down there that got me last time. Okay. Oh, two of them at the same time. That's no good. That's bad juju. Okay. 
So we're just gonna have to provoke them one at a time. Okay, there you go. Okay. And that guy's distant enough that he might not be aggroed very easily. It should at least allow us to... The of a large inscription on the wall shows that it's module number 51. The government transported some military developments in it. You can really find something useful here, like the famous Cedar spacesuit, if you don't get caught by any security systems. It's unlikely Cedar. that you can find another way into the military module. You must bypass the super intelligent AI, which can let only a soldier pass, I presume. Yeah. So... I'm totally a soldier. Access to civilians is prohibited. No, but totally, see? Get out of here, rookie. The army but... teaches boys to think like men. Okay. I have Everything guns, see? Get you killed, including nothing. Hmm. So that's not how to do it. Will will just shooting him work? No, that just causes him to retreat. Let's fully safe the area. There we go. Has noticed you. And unfortunately, I am out of blaster. And I'm gonna have to build a new one. Okay. Government transported some military developments in it. Well, so much for top secret, I suppose. Let's at least get our bike a bit closer. Now that we've set up a safe zone, a nice little perimeter. So, this is obviously where I need to go. How do I get in? Hmm. Bribery isn't winning the day. Unless I'm supposed to just, like, hit him with the money? Handy scrapper required. Yeah, no, that just... that does no good. He has a little hidey hole. Can I clog up his arm somehow? Not looking like it. chair in a box. A couple of important parts are missing, but you can easily replace them. Oh, and there was a there was a free floating bribe just already in here. You never know when you might need another bribe. Okay, so where was that asteroid turret that spotted me? I'm not seeing it anywhere up here. Hmm. Oh. Scan, you say? When assembling a new suit, don't forget to transfer my chest-mounted module to it. You can't fully use your spacesuit without a personal module. I wouldn't leave you behind, suit. The resale value would be totally ruined without you. Okay, military suit. That must provide, like, damage resistance for something, I'd imagine? Yeah, I need to recover my health and I need to make a new blaster before I do any more combat. They're inactive. Be careful. Wait, hold on. Are the military bots reviving themselves? Did I just miss you? Shoot, the military re bots revive after a little while. They are an infinite threat. Okay, that changes things a little bit. I guess let's take the chair back to our base and see if there's anything in there. Really, I was thinking that this would be a Metal Gear Solid reference and I just need the box. 
let's see what that military spacesuit is all about, too. Most importantly, let's get up to our HAB module and let's get our health back. Okay. Let's see what these hopefully final spacesuit is all about. Titanium, lead paint, two aluminum, and a roll of fabric. Nothing unattainable right now, I don't think. And do I have any replacement parts for the chair anywhere in here? I really need to find those other two steering wheels. I do not know what that's all about. So I'm going to need another piece of lead for the lead paint after all. Hmm. Well, that's just the thing. At least we know where the lead is that's nearby. Let's just... Yeah, can I... use this for anything? Hmm. Like, it almost looks like the pickup icon is separate, but eh. I guess that's just a bit of decor or something. We'll see if that has any more use. Yep. Now is there any free-floating nuggets of lead anywhere? Can I... do I have to break one of the meatballs? No. And I think that's all we need is just the one piece. And there we go. The khaki color makes this spacesuit different from the standard funeral one. In this suit, you can easily blend with the lush vegetation of outer space. It's not recommended to pin any metals to this model. So, it actually has lesser radiation protection. But I imagine that it gives you physical protection. I imagine that is the upside. I hope. Oh, and it's bright day glow yellow and green, too. So effective camouflage. In any case, I need a new blaster. Yes, before I set out. There we go. Unfortunate that I need to use my electronics for it, but needs must. And this is something that I needs. If nothing else, there's a couple more asteroid turrets in the area. Yes, I'll probably run from the bot since I know they're an infinite threat. But asteroid turrets we can at least deal with permanently. Okay, back into the danger zone. Let's keep our distance from those bots and let's take out that turret over there. Just wait until I'm spotted, and then... Be careful. A boop. And... A boosh. Very nice sniper weapon we have here. And let's just kind of get up and... Get our air and go. Keep... Oh, boy. Okay, can I lure you away? No, you go back onto your patrol route. Hmm. Problematic. They're even making it tough to get to the air. So yeah, I think this is the final boss of this chapter. What's with your face, Private? Wise guy, hey, two extra duties. Okay. Use the chicken. <laughs> General, welcome, sir. Yes, sir. General, sir. Okay. Oh, he presumes I'm military because I have the space suit. Oh. It's worth noting, the robot gatekeepers can't be in the service, and therefore their involvement to the ranks of the armed forces is extremely improbable. Looks like some alcohol got spilled over its circuits in the crash. Huh. Unless someone was making a unit that had to be absolutely loyal for whatever reason. No passage prohibited. 
We'll see about that. This door is locked. Well, there was at least some humans in the area. Gracious. Yeah. Alcohol. General Chickenson? <laughs> that explains some things. A whole chest of metals, about a hundred fighters, and the entire security system of the ship at your disposal. How could you allow such a catastrophe to happen, comrade? And such a noble bearing, too. Quite an unusual face, although the gatekeeper's reaction to the chicken has become more clear. Indeed. So, ah, there it is. There it is. Large service module. Which, yeah, that that is... If I were to add one more module to the base, that might be it. Just because the service module is the most useful. We don't need no stinking tickets. I'm going to need another scanner. There's going to be like two more things to scan in this area, ain't there? No power. Okay. This is quite an intensive area. So many twisty corridors and all of them alike. I won't say no to more refined metal. It's a decoder. Since I violated all security protocols anyway, we can learn about the information exchanged between breath edge coffins. Ooh. There's no data on the design of fluorescent lamps. To be more exact, there wasn't any. Oh, neat. And there's going to be another thing for me to scan, ain't there? That's weird. This looks more like some virtual communication between underdeveloped human beings, but it's even more incoherent and lacks logic. Why would coffins need such information? Okay. It's a conversation between Nagabator1, Nagabator1, Dwaipapka, Nikitos007, Dwaipapka, uh, Amy, uh, that looks like yeah, that's... Uh, Nagabator 1 again. Uh, Princesca twice. Nikitos double... Oh, oh. It's just... I see. It's lined up to those. Okay, cool. Name. So, Nagabator 1 starts off with a Lenny face. Then, lul, sucker. Tval Pavka is just gonna... Eh, it's okay. Nikitos 007 says, Hello. Tval Pavka, are there any gamer girls here? Uh... Nonsense says, Lemao, y'all, how you doing? Nagavator says, Your mom's fat. Princesca is very, very. Oh. Princesca, Hart, can I join you guys? Hart. Nikitos, no, go away, Artard. Uh, Proigrok220 says, XD, let's go. I created the game. Okay. That nonsense says, okay, but don't feed you, noob. Hmm. So. Is someone using the coffins as a backbone of a communication system? Because we know it can't be the corpses communicating from beyond the grave. Because uh, we all know what happens if you wake up alive in a breath edge coffin. You, That's a good you door. Have... I bet you can't break it. Oh, I bet you I can. Yeah, look at that. And I bet I can just get it from hitting it, too. Yeah. And in fact, I have some handy scrappers that I need to go through. Your reverse psychology is totally working on me, suit. But it's for valid reasons. It's a restricted area, too, so we've got to get into it. We just need to prove it wrong. 
I told you you could handle them easily. Uh huh. Sure thing, suit. Okay, back to this. And indeed, the gravity plating is disturbed here. Yeah, we're a bit low on resin. I won't. I'll, I'll take some that I don't need to use a grabber for. Some gas leakage detected. The doors are locked. Okay. Okay, creepy mannequins. You aren't anything, are you? Okay. Turn my back on you. You're safe. These are interesting. Okay, the Cedar Experimental Spacesuit. The Cedar Experimental Spacesuits were delivered to the captain's bridge, as you, Comrade Lasinski, treated them with absolute carelessness. However, you have thoroughly studied the manual on the Cedar, which I attached to this letter. You will be... Uh, until you have thoroughly studied the manual on the Cedar, which I attached to this letter, you will be entrusted with some costumes for children's performances under your stewardship. Try not to break these, at least, from Arena. Well, we have the manual, at least, and we have something that looks like one. It seems that you've successfully completed the work for this Lasinski by destroying the spacesuits together with the Captain's Bridge. However, this blueprint can help you create a similar one. A detailed plan of the transport module. You naturally remember that my intelligence and charm, along with the entire chest-mounted block, must be transferred to a new spacesuit for it to function fully, don't you? Yeah, we, we've done it a couple of times by now, suit, don't worry. Wow. And the, the hel- Really, it, it's the helmets that I think are the best part of that. That's just- that's just a hell of a design. Small transport module? Well, I don't need it. It seems that the stand for the suit is broken, although it won't be difficult to fix it. I need the scanner anyway. Oh boy. I should have built a new scanner. Oh boy. Well, nothing for it but to keep on going and see what we find. Oh, is this the back entrance to the restricted area? Huh. So, I can drink some water. Because, yeah, an oxygen candle is more valuable than a bit of water. It, no, that's just must stay closed. I could swear that there was a door with it. Yeah, there it is. Well, okay, so that door's open now, so we have faster access back inside. We just need to go get a scanner and possibly create a whole new suit. Oh boy, I just noticed that our bike is taking a beating. It must have taken a couple of shots from those security bots. Well, that might use up the last of our repair tool, and that's an excuse to make a new one. But yes, in retrospect, I think I accidentally chose the exact perfect spot for a base. Just kind of eyeballing where I was in the middle of all the objectives, I, I picked wisely. I'm proud of that one. No, that's... Why was it saying durability was down to like 55? What was going on? Oh. Oh, durability 55 is for the scrapper, not for the... Okay, dur... Never mind. So, new equipment. The Cedar spacesuit. According to the documents, the Cedar spacesuit should have become a sensation, as it's unparalleled when it comes to durability, economy, and convenience. It's a pity that all the prototypes got burned during this terrible disaster. What's left of the manual is some information on how to reinforce the suit's anti-radiation lining. Four loom, four lead paint. Okay, I need to find more paint. And more lead, but lead is easy right now. And two rolls of fabric, which I don't have enough fabric, do I? No, I don't, not even close. Oh boy, we got a thing ahead of us. Really wish I could figure out what I could use the bribes for. But you know...
I think that we have made some solid progress today. And, yep, I will just have to... Between episodes, I might have to go back and scan... Well, no, I won't do that between episodes. Between episodes, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll hunt down some fabric. That'll just be a lot of resource grinding. That'll be a lot of searching through a lot of scrap we've already been through. So, I will hunt down some fabric to make our new spacesuit, and I will see you next time.